What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Alfixie and welcome back today to Roblox. How are you doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today it is time once again for some more brand new Bee Swarm Simulator and today we are continuing on from where we left off last time and in the last episode, oh my goodness, we managed to save up and we now have 27 bees inside our beautiful beehive. Oh my goodness, they're getting so expensive now. So uh, yeah, this is kind of nuts, but um, we now have two more extra bees. Um, so we've got a legendary lion bee, which was our first beehive expansion. And then last episode, we uh, we used a gold egg and we used a couple of royal jellies. We got a hasty bee, which I'm fairly happy with for now. It's not the worst bee that we can have. Um, but yeah, I was kind of hoping that we might like crack another random legendary or something. Unfortunately, we didn't. However, the only issue we have now, look at that. Hasty bee, da da da. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking I'm gonna keep the hasty bee for a little while. Um, speed buffs are super, super important, especially when you've got loads of bees and they're producing loads and loads of tokens. Um, so basically, what I want to do today is I want to continue on with the black bear quest line for the free diamond egg. Um, so I'm thinking we're not too far away from being able to complete that quest line and. I kind of want to try and save up my honey for a little bit and see just how close we can get up to that 25 million honey mark to try and get that amazing hat. Oh my goodness, things are getting so expensive now. <laughs> so yeah, how is everyone doing? I hope you are good. Welcome back. Um, yeah, I did a little bit of Bee Swarm Simulator off screen here. Uh, we currently are nearly up to 5 million honey again. Bear in mind that we spent 7 million honey last episode. Um, so yeah, I'd be kind of just doing a little bit of grindy grindy. And uh, what I'm kind of doing is I'm trying to do the polar bear ones sort of off screen to sort of give me that little bit of extra honey uh, for these episodes. So I haven't like gone and done any of the black bear quests off screen because I quite like those to do them on here because they have like little messages and different things and stuff. Um, but I'm thinking because the... Um, the polar bear quests are kind of just random ones that we do over and over and over. Uh, I thought that might be a good way of sort of grinding out a little bit to get that extra honey. Um, so there we go. Look at that. We have the scorpion salad, which I think we've done like three or four times already. Uh, the only problem is this one is super annoying because it has 12 scorpions in it and that takes ages to do which is kind of kind of a bit of a nuisance, but hey, it's all good. So I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's go and hand these in. Now, the good news is as well is that it's been enough time now that the King Beetle will also be back, which means we can go and take him down for the second time. I really want to do that to kind of see if the technique definitely works. Uh, and I think it does. I just have to kind of remember how I did it the first time. But hey, here we go, here we go. Okay, uh -huh. that is all the ingredients I need. Chop, chop, sizzle, sizzle, that's a funny stuff. Enjoy, woohoo. All right, so we are on times 24 polar power now. Pretty good. Uh, 160,000 extra honey just for doing his quest. And ah, hey, okay, I like this one. See, this one doesn't involve killing any mobs or anything. It's just sunflower. Oh, sunflower field is a bit slow. Uh, it's only 50k though, it's not too bad. And then Pineapple Field is alright. Uh, okay, so let's go and hand in to Black Bear. I do need to go and do the daily quest as well. And then I think we'll go and try and take down the King Beetle. Uh, okay, here we go. Oh, nice job. Did you use any accessories to help you out? Two more quests and I'll give you a royal jelly. Six more quests and I'll give you my diamond egg. Hey, 300,000 honey as the reward for that one. Okay, let's keep going. I heard that some top keep beekeepers prefer to collect pollen from the rose field. Why? Well, there's a couple of reasons. For one, you can specialize your hive with all red bees for maximum combos. On top of that, it's actually pretty close to the hives. For your bees at least, they don't have to fly very far to go to sleep. Why don't you test it out? Collect 450,000 pollen from the rose field. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, yeah. I have actually discovered that this rose field here, the one with the scorpions in, uh, it does fill up really quick. Now, we don't particularly have, like, a customized hive. We've basically just got one of each bee. But it's still quick enough, I think. It kind of does the job. It's all right. Okay, okay. I'll I tell you what. I'll tell you what. Should we go and try and take down the King Beetle again? Oh, my goodness. I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. Oh, I'll tell you what, actually. Let's go and get the daily quest, and then let's drop down and try and do this. So, if I remember correctly, it's been maybe three or four days since we first took down the King Beetle. And, of course... I think every time you take it down, you'll get three royal jelly. So it's definitely worth doing it as many times as you can. Um, yeah, let's, let's just let's just try and remember the strat because it kind of worked last time. So, oh, okay, cool. We've got a double up on the sunflower, which is always decent. We are, oh, 5.3 million honey as well. 
Awesome sawsomes. I want to try and get like three black bear quests done today. I think that's the goal. Uh, but okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There he is. Woohoo. Okay, okay. Let's see if we can remember how to do this, dude. Attack my bees and then move. Yeah, okay. We got it. We got it, lads. Okay, we got it. Attack my bees and then move. <laughs> okay, okay. We remember how to do it. Good news. Well, having said that, he is really close to us right now. I could do with you just backing up a little touch there. There we go. Wait a few seconds and move. Yeah, okay, now we're rolling, lads. All right, you're gonna have to bear with me here whilst we. Oh, I've, got... I've taken a hit. He's taking a hit, Captain. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I think we're good. I think we got this. So, yeah, in case you missed the episode, basically, I kind of showed you a really good way of taking down the King Beetle. Um, basically, we learned that we actually click it. And when you click it, it actually moves the beetle backwards. And if you can kind of like just click it, it sort of stays still for about three or four seconds. Whilst it's standing still, you move to the left or the right to, to, to like dodge the jump. And then whilst you do that, ah, oh, taking two hits. Okay, he's really close to me, but we should be okay. Yeah, whilst he's staying still, that's when your bees can actually do lots and lots of work. So, like, jumping around and stuff, it doesn't work. We tried to do it with the paraglider, which is a super, super fast movement speed thing. But whilst you're using the paraglider and you're jumping, he just, like, the bees don't attack him, which is no good. You need to constantly have the bees on him at all time. So he's super close to us right now. Oh, jeez. But we're good. We're good. Here we go. Here we go. So it should be maybe just a few more seconds. Go, my army of bees! Take down the king beetle! Oh, is this going to be the first time? Come on, we can do this first go. Yes. Come on. Come on. Take it down. Oh, I've taken a hit. I've taken a hit, but it's okay. It's okay. Three, two, one. And. Yeah. Woohoo. Oh. I only got one royal jelly. Oh, I thought you got three royal jellies every time. No. So it's a two. So once you kill it, so once you take it down for the first time, it's one royal je uh, three royal jellies. But then when you go and take it down, or is it random? I don't know. I've only ever done it twice. Oh well, it would kind of make sense if the next time you took it down, it was only one because I guess you kind of learn the technique. But I suppose even at worst case scenario, it's still like an extra royal jelly every two days. So not the end of the world, I guess. Uh, okay, well. It's all good. It's all good. I was expecting three, though. Oh, okay. Never mind. Well, there we go. At least we managed to take it down first time. So yeah, hopefully you guys with that technique can go and take him down as well. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is let's start cracking on here with these uh, Black Bear quests. So... We have 450,000 to collect from the rose field up at the top. So that's going to be like three trips, but it shouldn't be too bad. And of course, every single time we fill up a backpack, we're also getting some more honey. So let's see how much honey we can end today's episode with. Okie dokies. Um, so we're nearly finished here with our first couple of quests. Uh, I have completed the daily one. I've completed the trail mix. And I'm super close here to just doing the rose field one. You know, the more I think about this... Oh, the scorpions. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was kind of like thinking... So we've got this hasty bee, which we've got a double of. Now, I really do like the speed buffs um, because basically, I, I think I've said it a couple of times, but like your bees tend to spread out quite a lot as you're sort of playing. And, um, you know, sometimes... Uh, you might miss some of the tokens. Like, they, they, they kind of go all over the shop, basically. So the speed buffs really allow you to get around to every single thing. Like, even if it doesn't apply to the field, I always run into them anyway, just because it's quite satisfying. Even if it's like a blue one in a red field, which doesn't do anything. Um, but yeah, like, the more I think about it, maybe, just maybe, it might be better to Royal Jelly our second Hasty Bee to try and get a red or a, or a blue one because also those tokens are super important as well. And of course, like as you're stacking up tokens, so as you can see here, we're in the, the red field. Now, if I can do this right, if you look at the very bottom of the screen, we're now times eight for red, times six for blue. If we can try and get those tokens as quickly as possible, then we can be operating at times 10, which is obviously really, really good. Um, but yeah, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do with regards to that. Um, I'm going to have a think on that one because, I mean, I like having all the bees. <laughs> you know what I mean? I like having, like, all of, like, all the different types and stuff. But now we have the expansions, we are going to be doubling up. I'm also thinking about re-rolling our second baby bee. Now, the baby bee is a legendary bee, so it seems like a bit of a shame because the buff that they give is really, really good. It's like the luck buff. But what I've been finding as I've been playing 
is that the luck buffs are popping up at exactly the same time. Um, so, like, there's no point having two luck buffs right next to each other because they don't stack up. So, although it's going to be really rubbish to, like, get rid of a legendary V, it might be better to have something else. Because we're still going to get the luck buff anyway at exactly the same time. Like, there's no... It's so annoying when two pop up and they always pop up next to each other. Um, so, yeah. Potentially... We might do some royal jelly. And how many have we got? We've got 13 royal jelly. Like, that's pretty good. Uh, oh, I'll tell you what, before we do that, let's go and, let's go and hand in these quests. Why the heck not, right? So uh, let's go and hand in the uh, the polar bear one first. Woohoo! How are we up to? Six million. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go and hand this one in. So, uh, yes, chop chop, sizzle sizzle, that's a funny stir. Well done, enjoy. Oh, that's 1,200 for that one. I think that's like the, the worst reward for it. Uh, okay, that's not too bad. Uh, eight ladybugs, eight rhino beetles. I can do that one quite easily. Uh, let's go and see what the next black bear quest is. I'm still waiting for them to become really, really hard. So far, so good. Okay. Uh, oh, nice job. That seemed pretty effective. One more quest and I'll give you real jelly. Five more quests and I'll give you my diamond egg. 3,200 honey reward. No, <laughs> 320,000 honey reward. I can't get over the clover field. I just know there's something special about it. Maybe the reason it hasn't been making us, uh, making us lucky is because we're not collecting uh, from the right type of clover. I bet we need a special type of clover. A white clover. The other bears assure me they don't exist, but to be honest, I don't really trust them anyhow. Let's find one and prove them all wrong. Collect 300,000 white pollen and 200,000 pollen from the clover field. What's a white clover? I've never heard of one of those before. Black bear, you're talking nonsense. Uh, okay, so 200,000 from the clover field? Oh, the clover field isn't exactly that fast, but... Uh, let me go and hand this one in. Oh, wunderbar. Awesome. Okay, so another royal jelly. That's a lot of that's a lot of honey from the clover field, man. I mean, the clover field is kind of a mix of pretty much everything, but I guess we're gonna have to do it. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm gonna go and do these quests now. I mean, <laughs> the thing with Beast Swarm Simulator is like there's there's a lot of sort of collection and stuff, and I try to sort of like not bore you with me just running around a field. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed the way that we've done this series so far. We've kind of just like cut back to when we've been completing the quests and stuff. But yeah, essentially it's me running around collecting honey. And it's very, very satisfying. Uh, my backpack's nearly full though. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and empty this bad boy out. I do need to go and do ladybugs and rhino beetles as well. But the good thing is, is those spawn super, super quick anyway. So that's not exactly much of an issue. Uh, and yeah, one more quest and we get another free royal jelly. And then we'll be four quests away from the diamond egg. Huh, just a little random side note -y thing here, just because I've only just realized this. Um, like, you know, we've got this hat for instant conversion. It actually counts towards the quest lines. So I've just gone straight to the clover field and I've gained 150,000, which is my full backpack. But the actual quest log says I've collected 183,000. So I think like because we've got the hat and it's instantly conver uh, converting the pollen into honey, that also counts in the area that you're gathering it. Didn't know that. That's really cool. Okie dokie, so there we go. We just need one more ladybug here from the bottom field and our quests are complete. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Uh, they're definitely getting a little bit more tricky with the black bear quest, but they're still like, they're not too horrendous or anything like that. So that's good news. Anyway, let's go and hand this in. Okay. Well, any luck? Did you find a white clover? No? Dang. That's okay. You still deserve this. Hey, okay. So we've got, our, I think, our third free royal jelly from black bear. Just four more quests and I'll give you my diamond egg. Okay. You can't go forward without looking back. Well, you probably can, but then you'll forget stuff. And remembering things is really important for becoming a top honey maker. So for your next lesson, let's revisit some of the first fields you ever worked in. Oh, geez. I was worried about this. Collect 100,000 pollen from the sunflower, dandelion, mushroom, and blue flower fields. Oh, okay. That's... <laughs> I was wondering if they do this because these are, like, the slowest fields to actually, um harvest stuff from actually 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 the, the the blue flower field isn't too bad because you can stack up the blue buffs but the other ones are a little bit more tricky there's a lot of white flowers there there's a lot of single flowers so that might take a little bit of time but hey it's all good it's actually not too bad it's only four hundred thousand total anyway uh, oh chop chop sizzle sizzle dash of honey blah 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 polar bear uh, we got 26 times polar power <laughs> oh my goodness me oh Oh, look at this. Exotic salad. Cactus field, rose field, blue flower, clover, sunflower, dandelion, mushroom, blue flower. 
Oh my goodness me. <laughs> so we've got some serious pollen collecting to do. Um, and yeah, look at that. We're up to 7.6 million honey again. So I can't quite remember how what we started the episode with. I think it was 4 or 5 million. Um, so we gained over, just over sort of 2 million in the episode. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, that is going to be about it to, for today's video. However, hopefully next video we will be completing the Black Bear quest line and we'll be getting that diamond egg. So hopefully by the time we finish that, we can kind of assess how much honey we've got in total. And then we've got to see how much we need to grind to get that hat. That 25 million hat. I really want that hat so bad. It's so much honey, man. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please remember to poke me in that like button. And if you are not yet subscribed, go for it because we do Roblox done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Rentio!